Hi guys, my name is Rufaro. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to my studio. Today we're going to do a sit down video instead of a vlog. We're going to be talking about six things that someone living in Zimbabwe can do in order to get some money. So stay tuned and let's get into the video. So I've written down some points. I'm going to be making reference to something that I've written down here. So the first thing that one can do is be a commission sales rep. You sell someone's product or service and then they give you a percentage of the sale. So for instance, I know for a fact that radio stations, for example, Yaya FM radio station uh, and uh, Power FM and CFM, they allow people who, necessarily, who don't necessarily work there to call in and register to be sales reps for them so what it means is you then go and look for companies that can advertise on those platforms and then when you sell let's say you sell for hundred dollars you are then given a certain percentage of that hundred dollars so if you are someone who likes to make calls talk to people you can take advantage of this opportunity and actually call um, a specific radio station, for instance, they say yeah, I have a radio station and say, hello, I'm Janet. I would like to speak to your marketing department. Hi, is this the marketing department? I'm Janet. I would like to work with you as a sales, as a commission sales rep. And then that's it. They'll take you in before you know it. You're already selling your things and getting some extra money or getting money in general. The other thing that you can do under commission sales rep is you can go to home industries we have a lot of home industries in zimbabwe the specific ones that i know we have glenview seven home industry and also we have kuwazana home industry you can go to those places shut up with the carpenters there shut up with the sofa manufacturers who are there and then ask them if you can have an agreement with them where you go into town go into your uh, places maybe make a flyer and start selling the property or the items that they make and then when you sell you get a commission from that sale I've actually been approached by some carpenters who wanted that deal with me so I'm sure if you go there and ask I'm sure everyone wants to sell hey so I'm sure if you go there and ask they'll be they'll be you know up for it and they'll agree and you can get some money from that the second thing that you can do is money expos for people um with money expos you can simply okay what you do is there are several companies especially small companies or even large companies where during expos like like tf or ag show or so many other expos that people get to do they need um laborers or they need people to come and help them with several things people to stand on their stands during the expos people to wear their t-shirts and regalias people to move around with their flyers during expos and to talk to customers so you can call up several companies that you know attend expos and then you ask to register as one of those people when they have an expo they can call you and you can go there and work for that week with a certain company you don't necessarily always need to say i can't find a job at this place so i would never be able to work there sometimes you can also just look for um small gigs where you can go and you know man some expos for point number three you can rent out cars um you can rent out cars to different car car rent house if you have a car that's sitting at your house and it's in good condition you simply get your comprehensive insurance make sure your car is well serviced call up a car rental company and ask them if you can rent out your car with them they are most likely to say yes if they don't say yes call the next car rental company until you find a car rental company that suits your needs so with this when you rent out your car you get some money from this too the fourth point is is closer to previous point if you have a car you could ask to do delivery services um you can call companies that sell different products 
you can offer delivery services or you can even do chauffeur services if you have a car again where you can ask people who are traveling to different places to do chauffeur services for them you can also just um create a flyer for yourself and you know start asking people and if they need chauffeur services they can actually call you the next point is being a driver if you have a driver's license you can literally register at different places different uh even a flyer some people have cars but can't drive some poor but well they need a driver and then also even other companies do test drivers so when you when with driving if you have a license you can simply call companies and ask if you can be a driver a part-time driver when they need those services then they can call you and you can make money the next and last point this one applies to people who don't mind to do some manual work and um humble enough to do that so this one is laundry and errand services with laundry and errand services you can create a flyer let people know that you do offer laundry services and you can they can ring you up and ask you to do their laundry or their services whatever their timetable is and this is how you can make money so these are not all the ways you can make money in zimbabwe but these are some of the ways you can make money yeah so that's it you guys those are the ideas that i know and have that one can use to make some money in zimbabwe i uh, hope something works out for you guys thank you for watching and i would like to hear your comments and your thoughts in the comment section below and if you also want to you know know more on this or if you want me to do a second series on this let me know a second video on this let me know in the comments below or if you want some context for some of these places that i was mentioning let me know again in the comments and i can talk to you guys and maybe even talk to you one-on-one -on -one and you know we can have a chat so okay you guys thank you for watching thank you for your time i'll see you in the next video bye